What's that noise? Is it a roar? It sounds like a crying lion. It's not a lion, Moomoo, it's me. Rita, those are roars of a lion. It's my belly and it hasn't stopped making noises all morning. I think I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, but there are still a few hours to go until we eat. I don't understand why I'm so hungry today. I had a really good breakfast. It's because we've been running around and playing all morning and we worked up an appetite. I'm really hungry. I could eat a big plate of pasta with strawberry marmalade and chocolate chips. We need to quit talking about food or our bellies won't stop making those noises. You know what just occurred to me? I'm going to go and make something to eat right now. What a great idea, Olga. So what are you going to make? It's a surprise. If you wait huh? for me here, I'll make you something really good. All right, but don't take too long. I'm going to make some tuna and cheese sandwiches. The first thing I have to do is prepare the slices of bread. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I think I better make two sandwiches per person. I'll need six more slices. Now I'll make six cheese sandwiches and six tuna. First, I'll add two slices of cheese in each sandwich and then a little bit of mayonnaise. I'll put two really good slices here and two more here and here and here and finally two more here. Now I just need to put the tops on the cheese sandwiches. I'll do the same thing for the tuna sandwiches. First, I'll add the tuna. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I just have to cover them. I think everything's ready now. But since they're all so hungry, I should make something really good for dessert. Let me think. I'll make them a really big chocolate cookie. I hope Olga comes back soon. What do you think she's making for us? I hope it's something really tasty and delicious. I would love a tuna and cheese sandwich. You're so right, Talalo. It would be awesome if she also made a really big chocolate chip cookie. If she takes much longer, I'm going to die of hunger. I want to eat now. Enough with the noise, Moo Moo. It sounds like a bear growling inside your stomach. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to go see if Olga needs any help. Moo Moo, you'd better not. Olga told us that we should all stay right here. Don't you worry. I'm not going to do anything wrong. I'm just going to help Olga. Don't always think the worst. Hi, Olga. Olga? Where are you? Oh, look at all this food. And it's all ready to eat. What yummy looking sandwiches. Oh. Oh. Nothing would happen if I just eat one, right? I can't. I promised that I'd be good. Well, just one, nothing will happen. They won't even notice. That was so yummy, but I'm still hungry. Nothing would happen if I eat another one. Now I better not eat any more. But I'm still hungry, but... Now there's only 10 left. If I eat another four... Everyone would still get one sandwich each. Nothing would happen. The food is ready. You can all come now. 
Where'd Mumu go? I don't know. She was here with all of you. She just left two minutes ago to go help you. And she must be there with the food. She's going to eat it all. No! No, no, no. Where's all the food, Moo Moo? <coughs> well, I just... Did you eat all of it? <coughs> You're gonna get it. <laughs> Don't worry, my friends. I made a lot more sandwiches, but I hid them under the table just in case some glutton came around and ate them all. We have food for everybody! Yay! Yay! <laughs> You know what, Moo Moo? I think I'm getting prettier every day. I don't know if it's my cute ears or my lovely neck that makes me the most beautiful giraffe in the valley. Uh, Rita, you're the only giraffe in the valley. That's why you're the most beautiful one. Have you noticed how pretty that lion is? With his amazing mane and green eyes, strong paws and cute bottom? And those sharp teeth. Hello, Mr. Lion. Psst, psst. Hello. He'll definitely say something to me. Hi, Lion. How are you doing today? He's completely ignoring us. But he's so cute that I'm gonna go talk to him. You have the most beautiful hair. Mind if I touch it? I already know I'm handsome. My hair is perfect. My eyes are like the sun. I'm the most beautiful animal in the universe. Um, how could you two stand being so, um, strange looking? Cow, you're too spongy. Your eyes are too far apart and your nose is, is, well, I can't even describe it. And you, long creature, where do you think you're going with such a neck and that coloring? I simply don't like it at all. Moo Moo, he was so mean to us. Do you think that my eyes are too far apart and that my nose is hideous? Of course not, Moo Moo. You're a very good looking cow. You have big, gorgeous eyes and a perfect nose. Why are you asking such a strange question, Moo Moo? A little while ago, Rita and I were walking by the lake when we saw a lion. It was a gorgeous lion. He had the most beautiful mane and eyes like the sun and beautiful fangs, and very white. He must brush them every day. So we went to go talk to him, and the reality was that he had no interest in us at all. But I don't know why. He started telling us we were ugly, and that our eyes were too far apart, and I had a neck that was too long. He was full of himself. This can't stay like this. We need to show that lion that he needs to treat everyone with respect and that it's wrong to say rude things about others. I've got it. Why don't we make him think he's a really ugly lion? That way, he'll learn that he can't go around making others feel bad. And how are we going to make that lion think he's ugly? Why don't we dress Alfred up as a lion and make him look really ugly? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do it! it. I'm sorry, but I don't intend on dressing up as anything. Come on, Alfred. Do it for the team. Well, don't count on me. Alfred, you look awesome. You need to go behind the waterfall. So when the lion sees his reflection, he'll think he's hideous. And the rest of us will hide so the lion won't see us. Let's do a trial run, Alfred. When I look at myself in the water, get closer. Ready? One, two, three. That's
That's great, Alfred. I'm sure this land's going to have quite a scare. I'm so handsome. I'm so good looking. I'm so ugly. I'm handsome, I'm handsome. This can't be happening to me. All of a sudden I'm ugly. I must be hallucinating. No! That was great. Did you see the look on that arrogant lion's face? Milo, poor Mr. Lion. He's all upset now. We've got to go tell him the truth. Let's go, Moo Moo. We've got a lion to tame. Hello, Mr. Lion. I know you don't like me because of the ugly things I said to you before. I've always made fun of everyone, but now I'm like everyone else. Actually, Mr. Lion, you're still just as handsome as you've always been. And if you don't believe us, go take another look at your reflection in the water. I don't dare. I can't bear to look at that ugly face again. Go on, you may be handsome, but you're a coward. Look at yourself already. I'm still handsome! Thank you, girls. You've really cheered me up. I'm sorry for everything I said earlier. The truth is, I think you're both very pretty. <laughs> the lion has learned a very valuable lesson, that we all have beautiful qualities. Alfred uses few words, but says a lot. Milo has great ideas. Talala is clever. Mumu is so nice. And Olga is very pretty. And I'm the best of us all. <laughs> <laughs> Ants. Finally, it's snack time. Today, I think I'm going to have my snack here on the ground beneath this nice big tree. Hey there. Hello, little ant. What are you doing here all by yourself? What's wrong? Don't you want to answer? Well then, suit yourself. If you don't mind, I'd like to have my afternoon snack and don't want to be bothered by anyone. So I would appreciate it if you let me eat alone. A little ant, didn't you hear me? This is my snack and I feel like eating it all by myself. So you should take a little walk and get away from my basket. Get out of my basket! I'm sorry, little ant, but this is my snack, and I have no intention of sharing it with anybody. Is that clear? What? Get out of here, little ants. This is my snack, and I'm not sharing it with you. Don't you try to eat my snack. These little ants are gluttons and will eat everything. I have to keep them far away from my food. I think it would be better if I sit somewhere else. I think that bench would be a good spot. I'm sure I won't find any ants here. I'm going to eat the chocolate wafer that I like so much. Ah. Hey, what are you doing on my wafer? Get off! <sighs> this cannot be happening to me. At this rate, I won't be able to eat my snack. How was he able to get into my wafer? It doesn't look like there are any more of those bugs inside, but... This place isn't safe. I think it's better if I find another spot. How strange. Be still, basket. Stop that now. This basket is haunted. It's not possible for it to move on its own. I know it must be those ants that are making it move. One, two, three. All right then, ants. You guys have been asking for it. Now this is war. Give me back my basket, you afternoon snack thieves. 
Be still, basket. I want my snack. This can't really be happening to me. Since I'm so hungry, I've got to do something drastic. I'm going to be the fastest cow in the world. I've just got to concentrate. It's time for a snack. At least everything's in its place. It's time to eat. Oh, this is a nightmare. I just want to eat my snack in peace. These darn ants. This is too much. Now they want to eat me. Now everybody stop right now. My dear ant friends, I have a proposal for you. You set me down and I'll let you have half of my food. <laughs> half of my food isn't enough for you? All right then, I have got four wafers in my basket. If you let me eat one alone, I'll leave you the other three. Finally, I can eat my chocolate wafer in peace. Oh, it looks so good. I can't believe it. This wafer has no chocolate. <laughs> they took all the chocolate. You darn ants, just wait until I get my hands on you. Ugh, you're gonna pay for this, you ants. This is not gonna end this way, without chocolate. What's the matter, Moo Moo? It's been terrible, Rita. The ants are totally <sighs> selfish beings. They ate all of my snack. But, Moo Moo, why didn't you do anything to defend yourself? But I tried to. I ran and I jumped, but there are so, so many, so much faster. They came out of nowhere and they took it all away. I never even got a chance to eat. And you know how important my afternoon snack is. Yes, Moo Moo, I know how important your snack, your breakfast, and your dinner are for you. I do. Why don't you go to the ant hill and ask them to give you back your snack? I don't plan on going there and negotiating with them. They were very close to taking me away and eating me. That's impossible, Moo Moo. Ants are really very small. And they're not going to eat us. Where are you going, Rita? I'm talking to you. I'm not moving. You're the one who's moving. Oh, no! It's the ants! They think we're food! Help me, Rita! Help me, Moo Moo! We've got to run away real fast, Rita! But where should we go, Moo Moo? I don't know, Rita. Just run! <laughs> <laughs> 